Hello, and this is the No Face Movement, and I am bringing you part three of Chemtrails Exposed. We led all the way down to another company as we walked through part one, Chemtrails Exposed. Part two was Aliens Among Us. This is part three, Chemtrails Exposed, Mars Incorporation, and GMO. The video that you just seen is shocking. And yes, those was real footages. And it tears up my heart because I am an animal lover. And I ask you this question. Was that really humane? Why would they test hairsprays? Why would they test different kind of matters? You can see the whole video. If you want it at the bottom, I'm going to have a link to it. But before we get into Mars Incorporation, um, let's get in a tap. Let's go back to where we started from with chemtrails and how it all linked up. Chemtrails is killing everyone from the animals. That's why I showed Mars from the animals to the plants. Hairspray has aerosol in it, also aluminum oxide. So they tested on animals. So they knew. What would happen to the animals? All right, and we led all the way down to Mars Incorporated, Monsanto's, Bill Chemicals, go to the Air Force, weather modification, um, supplies of chemicals that we get sprayed on. All right, vaccinations around the world, vaccines. That's gonna be in part four and five. All right, but before we get in this, thanks to my friend Dan O'Son. That's over in Australia. Hopes everything's all right there. Let me show you a document that he sent me. And as you can see, this is a government document of Tom Trails. This is the program and the plan. It's TAP, Trospopheric Aerosol Program. And if you can see, you can see the cities, you can see the towers, how they electrify them. And it's crazy, folks, what's going on. I probably mispronounced that. Trospopheric. Tropospheric. Oh, tropospheric. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy. And this tells you everything about it. Alright, folks. My that link at the bottom, too. Now, let's get into Mars Incorporation. So, like I said, Monsanto has the sprays. Mars and Monsanto's have genetically engineered plants that they're growing to withstand. The aluminum oxide plants. But it ain't plants from our earth. Alright. It's plants from our earth, but they're genetically engineered. Alright. What does Mars do? They make candy bars. All our candy is genetically engineered. It's not real chocolate no more, folks. It's cocoa. It's genetically engineered chocolate. Um, they're testing animals out with hairspray. With different kind of aerosols, see what happens to them, and their own products. What else does Mars create other than candy bars? Well, they create a lot of stuff. It's a food processing company. Before we get into the seed of change, so let's get down to the human part of Mars. The products that they make from gums, candies, the household food name brands. All right, and it's funny that they say human consumption. All right. So let's go down the list real fast. A bounty bar. Galaxy, Galaxy Bubbles, Galaxy Mistrals, Kudos, a Twix bar. Amazing M&M's, Galaxy Mistrals, Three Musketeers, M&M's, Maltesers, Marathon, Mars, Master Foods, Milky Way, Mistrals, Munch, Promite, Revels, Seeds of Change, Snickers, Topic, Tracker, Belisto, Bounty, Celebrations, Circle, Cocovia, Combos, Domeo, 
Dove, Ebly, Ethel M, Flavia, Flings, Flight, Twix, and Uncle Ben's Rice. All right, and there's a whole bunch of gums. But before we get there, one thing that ain't where you could go to the store and just eat them is the Seeds of Change. All right, Seeds of Change is genetically modified seeds. But if you go there, it says it's not genetically modified organisms. All right, it's not GMOs. All right, but I'm about to prove that wrong in a second. But as we move down, you see all the gums and stuff. All right, I banned this. I was getting my animals, Caesars, dog food, and I also got my pedigree food. All right, but I banned this stuff. All right. And these are all the names that Myers Incorporate feed our animals while they test things on our animals. Just like they genetically engineer candy too. Whiskers being a prominent one. And yes, also Whiskers, the cat food. There's more than just cat food. It's, they supply all animal foods. Mm -hmm. All right, They're a food company. That's part of the New World Order. Alright, and what's crazy is they got services company, pet hospitals. That's where they do their testings at. They got recycling companies. That's terrible. And it's crazy, but I ban Mars Incorporated. But we just seen Seeds of Change. That's what we hear. Truth about chemtrails. So when you go to Seeds of Change, these seeds could withstand the aluminum oxide coming from the chemtrails that Monsanto Weather Modification Incorporation creates for us here in America and around the world. All right, any place you see chemtrails, it's either, either Monsanto's or Weather Modification Company. Monsanto Mars makes the seeds so our plants could grow within the modification. All right, they say they're not genetically modified, but we're about to prove them wrong right here. When I say that chocolate ain't chocolate no more, it's not just for Mars. Or I meant not just for Mars, it's also for Hershey. So let's get into it. Genetically modified chocolate to consume 70% of global cocoa supply. New initiatives seek to genetically modify 70% of the global cocoa supply, highlighting the necessity for consumers to select only high quality organic chocolate products in order to avoid this threat. Using genetically modified cocoa tree hybrids, scientists are already spreading the news about their new tastier modified chocolate. The campaign to use genetically modified cocoa tree hybrids is a product of a collaboration involving the USDA, Mars Chocolate Manufacturer, and even IBM. So... When they say that they don't promote GMO engineering, when you go and do all the research, you can go just type that in. GMO chocolate by Mars. That's what you get. Mars creates the plants with IBM with technology for nanotechs. We're about to get an IBM too because they're all linking this. It's crazy. It goes pretty deep. Here's another uh, investigated journalist that... Looked into GMO chocolates, Mars, IBM, and the USD. All these links are going to be at the bottom. So let's get into the definition of GMO. Genetically modified organism. A genetically modified organism is an organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. Organisms that have been genetically modified include microorganisms such as bacteria and yeast, insects, plants, fish, and mammals. GMOs are the source of genetically modified foods and are also widely used in scientific research and to produce goods other than food. The term GMO is very close to the technical legal term living modified organism defined in the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety, which regulates international trade in living GMOs. 
specifically any living organism that possesses a novel combination of genetic material obtained through the use of modern biotechnology. All right, you can see the links and you can read more. All right, so we found out that Monsanto and Mars Incorporation used GMO in their seeds so their plants could grow while the chemtrails are found out. They test the chemtrails uh, chemicals on animals, see what happens to them. Then they actually really do spray them in the sky. Now they got g uh, g uh, GMO chocolate. It's not real chocolate. All right, and we're eating it, folks. All right, I protest against Mars. I don't, me and my family, we don't buy nothing that is Mars from the rice, Uncle Ben's, to the gums, to their chocolate, to their animal pet good needs and supplies. All right, and we don't use none of their products. And I'm going to start doing the same thing with IBM. All right, it's about to get real deep here. Let's go on. Man.